So agriculture, the food supply was a disaster. Let me read you something else from another article. Um, Okay, so, so this is an article, this is quoting kind of a, 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 an expert on agriculture in Venezuela. He says, Venezuela's disaster is man-made. Economic, uh, the result of farm nationalizations, currency distortions, and a government takeover of food distribution. While millions of Venezuelans can't get enough to eat, officials have refused to allow international aid groups to deliver food. So this is about Maduro, made it even worse. And, he, and he, this guy writes, it's not only the nationalization of land, the government has made the decision to be the producer, processor, and distributor of food. Right? So they own the entire supply chain of food production. And it makes the food bureaucracy in Venezuela completely out of control. Farmers are forced to import feed, fertilizer, and spare parts. But they can't do it without hard currency, without dollars. And the government has been hoarding the dollars from oil export and using them to redistribute and re using them to do all kinds of other things other than let farmers actually buy the stuff that they need. Uh, land policies under late Chavez and Maduro made Venezuela more dependent on imported food than ever. And that was fine as long as they were producing huge amounts of dollars from the oil and they could go buy the food. But once oil prices went down and the oil fields became inefficient. There was no new drilling. The production you know, became super expensive. Not enough oil flowed in. Um, so here's this country, which had always been quite self-sufficient when it came to food. Fertile ground, expert farmers, corporations that knew how to distribute food, some of the largest in Latin America. And they were incredibly successful at producing food, a rich country. And what the Chavez reforms did, what the co-ops did, what socialism did, what socialism did, what socialism did, worth repeating, is destroy the entire farm infrastructure of Venezuela. Now, this is no surprise.